staff person for the Gypsy Road, and I'm here on behalf of Actors' Equity Association to welcome you to the Gypsy Road ceremony for opening night on Broadway of Arbeline! <laughs> is Broadway's greatest backstage tradition, and it's perpetuated by Actors' Equity Association and the ACCA, the Advisory Committee on Chorus Affairs. It's a ceremony that both acknowledges and celebrates those actors working on chorus contracts in a Broadway musical. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to ask is for all of those who are making their Broadway debut tonight to come to the center of the stage. like you, who give up their time to make sure that equity works. So, counselors, raise your hand and start off, Jonathan, with your name. Jonathan Brody. Yay. Joanne Bortz. Al Bondonis. Alison Tucker. Yay. Yay. Now, I'm going to invite all of those who have received the gypsy robe in the past to come to the center. Hi, I'm Joan Mabel. I got the robe for Most Happy Fella and Beauty and the Beast. I'm Bjarne Buchtrup. I got it for Ari in 1972. <laughs> I'm Luther Creek. I got it for a Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark. <laughs> I'm Mary Ann Hugh, and I received the robe for Sunday in the Park with George. <laughs> I'm Roger Preston Smith, and I received it for Peter Pan. <laughs> I'm Dick Fortes. I got it twice. Once for Harvest, the original production of Harvest of Seed, and then for Dancing. Yeah. I'm Heath. I got uh, the robe in Bloody Bloody Andrew Jackson. Yeah. I'm Mono, and I got it for Brooklyn the Musical. Yeah. Jonathan Browning, I got it across the street at a Bronx tale. Yeah. Yeah. Katrina Yaki and I got it for Natasha Pierre in the Great Comet of 18. Yeah. This is Catherine Rickafor, and yeah. she received the road for Miss Saigon. Yeah. The Gypsy Robe tradition began in 1950 when Bill Bradley, a chorus dancer in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, asked Florence Baum, a chorus girl, for her dressing gown. Bill then sent it over to Arthur Partington, a chorus dancer at the Imperial Theater, where Call Me Madam was opening that night with a note proclaiming, the robe had been worn by all the Ziegfeld beauties and would bless their show. A cabbage rose from one of Ethel Merman's gowns was attached to the robe by Arthur, and it was sent on to the opening of the next chorus musical, Guys and Dolls. The gypsy robe is awarded to a member of the chorus who has the most Broadway musical chorus credits. The honored gypsy puts on the robe circles the stage three times counterclockwise, and everyone touches the robe. The gypsy, still wearing the robe, then visits all the dressing rooms, and the show is blessed. <laughs> it is my great pleasure to present the gypsy robe for Amelie to Manuel Falciano. <laughs>
the robe on to warp it. Welcome to Broadway, Emily!